A is inversely proportional to B. And so what we usually mean by that is A is equal to some constant over B, or A is proportional to 1 over B. We can also say that A is inversely proportional to some power of B, and so A is equal to some constant times B to some power N, where N now is is here greater than zero, or you might say a is proportional to one over b to the n. Now, you might say that, look, we don't really need to, to speak this way. This is really just a separate class of expressions that we had before. a is equal to c, b to the n, where n is less than zero. That is essentially a mathematically equivalent to this sort of expression. And that's absolutely correct. It's just that in the language that scientists and engineers use, we often refer to expressions of this type as inversely proportional instead of sort of a generic proportional to some power to the negative n. In this case, if I increase, and I'm going to use little arrows to mean increase, if I increase b by a factor of 2, that means I decrease a, or a decreases by a factor of 2 to the n. Or if I increase b by this time a factor of 10, that decreases a by a factor of 10 to the n power. So if I want to look at relationships, I can say that a b to the n is equal to some constant. Again, if I want to look at it in terms of ratios, I would say that a1 over a2 is equal to b2 over b1 to the n. And you can see it's the same as before, except the, the b's are inverted. Where here this was b1 over b2 to the n, I now have b2 over b1 to the n. And so I can again use these proportional reasoning to solve problems without ever solving for what this constant happens to be. For an example, let's use uh, Newton's law of universal gravity. Newton's law of universal gravity says that the uh, gravitational force on a mass M by a mass capital M is proportional to each mass and inversely proportional to the distance squared. This force is proportional to each mass and inversely proportional to the distance between them squared, I'll call R now the distance between them. What happens to the force between two objects if the uh, distance between them doubles? If I want to compare the ratio of two gravitational forces, F1 and F2, that ratio is going to be ratio of the two masses, M1 uh, times capital M1 over small M2, capital M2, times R2 over R1 squared. And so I'm using our laws for the ratios of proportional as well as inversely proportional. If I have the same system, the masses are the same, but I've simply increased the distance between them by a factor of 2, that means the ratio r2 over r1 is equal to 2. This entire system just becomes 2 squared or 4. And there, if I solve for uh, f2, then the second force is equal to one-fourth the original. By doubling the distance between two objects, my gravitational force goes down by a factor of four. 